Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, for this session, we're going to do tutorial on the forecasting topic. Okay, these are the question from the December 2018 uh, final exam. So let's see. Usually, in the forecasting uh, question, they we they need us to to use a few methods, okay, or few techniques of forecasting, and then we need to compare for the best method uh, using the MAD, MFC, okay? So first, we look what are the techniques that we're going to use. The first one is moving average for four weeks, okay? And the second one is a weighted moving average, and we have the weight here, okay, for the past four weeks. And with the, we need to compare, okay, we need to see the error, Okay, the error for these two using MAD and decide which for this the better forecast. Okay, so these two table here, the first table I think belong to we use it for part one and part two, and then the final table we're going to use it for the number three. Okay, so actually which forecast that we need to to calculate? Okay, they give us last week. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and they give us this. Okay, so I think what they want is this one. This week, this is the one that we need to to the focus. All right, this week. So with all this data, with all the historical data, we can calculate the moving average. One, the second one is the weighted moving average, and we need to compare these two. Okay, let's start with the number one. Okay, and don't get confused, this table only will be used in the part 3, okay? So don't bother it to look at it. Later on, we will look at it. Okay, let's start. Moving average. So they want Monday to Friday using simple 4 weeks. Okay, these are the data. So we need to fill up for this one. So moving average is very simple. Okay, it's just a normal average. And be careful since 4 weeks. So remember... Okay, so the best thing is you go from nearest to the one that you want to forecast. So if I, I will move from here to here to here and here. Okay, so I divide by four. Why? Because the question asks for the four weeks moving average. Okay, so for, I will do for the Monday first. Okay, so 240 plus 230. Plus 240 again and 220 divided by 4. Okay. And we get 232.5. Remember, we need to round up. Okay. For forecasting because it's involved with the uh, product. Okay. Alright. Then you have to fill up for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with the same process. Okay. We answer part 1. Okay. Now we're going to part 2. Okay. Weighted moving average. Once you get the weight, you have to sum the weight. Okay, and again, you need to to use the uh, moving average formula. Okay, and move for moving average formula is totally different from the moving average, non moving average, because you need to uh, multiply with the weight here. Okay. How to read the weight? Okay, the weight, the, the biggest weight should be near to the one that you want to forecast. So, it goes like this way. Okay. So, 0 0.4 times 240 plus 0 0.3 times 230 plus 0 0.2 times 240 plus 0 0.1 times Two hundred twenty and divide by what? Divide by the sum of the weight. Okay, so you have to put sum of the weight here. So luckily it's one, so you get one here. So it's gonna be two hundred thirty-five. Okay, for Monday. So you have to fill up for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. So for this case, uh, all are uh, round number. Okay. If not, you have to round up. Okay, so you have answer for part two. Now we're going to part three. 
Okay, part three, then you use the table number two here. Okay, so this, what is this? This is actually the, sorry, these are the actual, okay? This data represent the actual. In, in, in error, okay, in determining the error or calculate the error, you need to get the actual because the actual is the important uh, element so that you can uh, get the error by subtracting with the uh, forecast. So, we're using MAD, very simple method. So, remember, okay, I told you that's the actual. And these are the answer that you get. This one is from part 1 and this is from part 2. So, you need another table to calculate the error. So, these are the actual, okay, from here. So, I transfer here. And then first, I will do the moving average. So, what I have to do is take the actual minus the moving average here is 2, 3, 3. And remember, for error, we need to use absolute value. So, there's not going to be any negative value. Okay, all are positive. So, same goes to the weighted moving average. I take the actual and I minus with the forecast. So I have 25 here. See, since this is absolute value, so there's no negative number here. Okay, there's no such thing as negative error. So you have to complete for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so once I get all the error here, I need to sum the error. Okay, for uh, moving average and also for the weighted moving average. Then, I need to calculate the MAD. How to calculate MAD? The sum, you need to divide by the number of error that you have. For this case, okay, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay, same goes to WMA. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, you have to divide the sum, okay, with the number of error. So, MAD for moving average is 33 and MAD for weighted moving average is 32.2. And then now we have to make conclusion, okay, which uh, method or technique that is the best, okay? So, you must look for the smaller MAD. For in this case, smaller MAD is weighted moving average. So, to answer the question, you need to to, to, to say that weighted moving average is more accurate or uh, better due to lowest or smallest MAD. So you have answer part 3 here. Okay, so by following uh, these steps, okay, first you need, when you, have, you get the question, you need to determine what are the techniques that you're going to use. Okay, and then once you know which technique to use, you will compare for the error, which one give the the smallest or lowest error is the best method, okay? So, read, it careful, uh, read the question carefully and hope you can answer your, your final suit, alright? Thank you. I hope to see you again.